welcome to Rockridge Canyon and Peak Performance Project Boot Camp Day four, four or five. Doesn't really, doesn't matter. My name is Tamara Stanners. We have had the most incredible time here at Rockridge Canyon, and today we were joined by three of the best in the business when it comes to marketing and branding. We had Brian Thompson from Thorny Bleeder come, Aaron Kinghorn flew all the way from Toronto, and Scott Johnson from Warner told us all about branding. Plus, special visit from the Peak Team. That just made me super happy. And we decided to get in your personal space. <laughs> So one A, one D. We're good to go. Alexandria, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. I liked your doctor's outfit last night. Oh, thanks. Well, I made it pretty like pretty clear to everyone. I had the capability of um, saving someone's life and cleaning the pool if someone died in the pool. That's so cool. Yeah, but but then I also told them I wouldn't help them because I was going to be dancing. Oh man, it's going so fantastically fantastic, amazing, Brandine. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty tired, but I'm loving the sunshine right now. Yeah, me too. Feeling, feeling like I'm catching up on some mad tanning that I've been missing. Getting my brain crammed full of great information and meeting some fantastic musicians and great industry professionals, and yeah, it's, it's awesome. What did you learn from your uh, seminars this morning? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Ryan Thompson. I, I read his DIY daily, and I thought it was uh, really interesting to have him in there in person and, and telling us all about exactly what we're supposed to be doing. I've never been more proud of our logo, which we actually worked pretty hard on. Yeah. So it obviously worked. Did you get that from Brian? Did he tell you that? Uh, we just thought that it would make sense early on to have sort of something to unify all the chaos of the stuff that we put out. I have to figure out my crap for um, my album that I just released. And by crap you mean so much I mean like, like the best kind of crap. Well you know, Erin Kinghorn, she did a marketing seminar. And I learned that you really need to have a marketing plan for you know, your your career and not just for a factor grant. You just learned this? Uh, where are you staying? Which dorm are you in and who, like who are your roommates? Oh, we're uh, staying with uh, Beekeeper right. and uh, the Green Mile. Green, green Mile is a movie. Uh, fields of green. We're in, a, we're in a, a tasty little room that we call Room 241. It's just a nickname. I'm roommates with those delightful boys from uh, River in the Road. I love them. They don't shower much, especially Andrew. <laughs> he gets up every morning and tells me that he just showered, and I, I watch him, and he just basically splashes some water in his face. <laughs> we're with Headwater and Fields of Green, uh, and that hobo <laughs> who lives in this forest. Kind of looks like Brendan Fraser. Really? Yeah, yeah, mixed with Brandon Fletcher. That's so, he's always super hot. Yes, so hot and bearded. Who is the messiest boot camper in your dorm? Man, I don't know. I think all, all of the girls are kind of equally messy. Hello, is anybody home? Okay, you know what? I am surprised it's not bad at all. I know that I'm pretty messy, so I can't say anything, but freaking Michelle, you and your hair products, like, you don't have that much hair, so I don't, I don't understand why you need that, all that. I'd have to say that uh, probably the neatest though would be Danielle from Dear Rouge. Okay. Oh, yeah. she's, she looks like she's got everything together. That girl always has everything together. I don't know who it is because he's just completely covered <laughs> <laughs> in stuff. <laughs> and it's all the fields of green boys. It seems to be, well it's hard to tell because it's so... <laughs> it's definitely... Hey! It's better than the girls! So now what then? We could actually just make a mess. Like, what if we, we just moved everything everywhere? Would you like that? It's almost time. I am guilty hard. I understand. My trips. That'll show them. There's a little controversy going on here between uh, our band Headwater and the River in the Road. They've started uh, spreading a dirty rumor that Jonas is a chest waxer. What? Yeah. We'd like to just put on display an exhibit, if you will, for the uh, defense. Okay. Jonas's chest. In 
all its oh, own there's hair. glory. Oh, there's hair. There's hair. There's a hair. There's oh, another one. Oh, there's like six. Those weren't there yesterday. <laughs> Damn you, Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, since, uh, since our set finished and this video, we just got signed to Warner Records. So cheer for that. For real? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs>